bitch make it hot. You got me on fire. Love the way you got that attitude. Be something you not. She suck that dick. She keep it delicate. They gon' make you. All right, man. Ka had Kodak on stream. But they said something happened, bro. Hey, you know, you hey, you know, I gotta check it out. Time to be nosy. Hold on, I might gotta um, uh, I might gotta switch my camera, cause bro, bro, bro got his camera over here. So let me go. On, you know what I'm saying? Let me go. On, let me go and switch that thing. Let me go and switch that thing. Switch that thing. Switch that thing. All right, all right, all right. Oh, hold on. She just tatted my name. Oh, oh, I really made the same. Yo, what happened? Oh, what? Yo, did he just take a Percocet? Yo, this nigga Kodak wallet already. The video just started. No way, bro. No way. I just seen Kodak Black trick shot a perk on Kaisen that stream on election day. <laughs> Yo, what is going Yo. on? Yo! Tap into the streaming world. You already know what's going on. It's Kai Sanat's Mafiathon 2, and it has been great so far. This is Kai's big subathon. This is his big attempt to reclaim his top spot as Twitch's all time leader in subs. And we are only five days in. I believe he's already at 180,000 subscribers. The all time record is at like 330. The intro to the stream was like a marching band. He had Yo. a little Uzi do a little concert outside of the house. Shout out. Yo, shout out Kai. This nigga has taken streaming to the next level I'm not gonna lie you gotta applaud it you gotta applaud it if you at home hating on Kyle right now you're a hater the house itself looks crazy Lil Uzi was on stream for like 24 hours Yo, and that was he was standing on her head he Lil Uzi was on What the fuck is yo? I gotta check this out. What the fuck is go? Why is he standing on her head? Yo, <laughs> for like twenty four hours. What? That and was she's fun. Smiling. He had I Carly on there. He I Carly. Like yo. I think like it's been a fantastic time. But last night Kodak Black joined the stream, and you can argue that this is the worst collab Kaisenat has ever done. You can oh, also snap. weirdly argue that it's the best one in the worst way possible. Nigga, the last oh you y'all remember that that uh. The collab between Zeus and B. Lou and, and, and Kodak Black. Nigga, that wasn't... I don't know why they keep inviting Kodak on their streams. Possible, though. But very entertaining. Hop on that track. Hey. Mm. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. I don't like life work. Ah, like, ah, it's good. Now nah, you good. Uh, it's good. Yo. Uh, yeah, you good. Uh, Oh, Y'all <laughs> 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 don't like me, yo. Who don't like you? Yo. Who don't like you? Yo. If y'all don't believe y'all favorite rapper is on drugs, this should open your eyes right here. I've been seeing it for like the past three videos. The past three videos, I've been saying that y'all treat a lot of these rappers like gods. Cool, I get it. I love the music too. I love the music just like y'all. And I'm a fan of the music just like y'all. But y'all don't disassociate the music from the person. The person, he's the, the nine times out of ten. I don't know who said it. They said, bro, y'all don't want to never meet y'all superhero because he, they're not going to be like you think they are i think this is a prompt this this is really like the third person but this is a prime example of it chat now they all saying w's that was what you got one that was one person look they said they love you look chat look they say no i love kodak i love kodak no stay no look 
If you look back at a lot of those clips, Kai looked visibly uncomfortable. A lot of funny clips in a vacuum, but essentially what Kai Sinat did was bring on a rapper with drug problems on his stream to the point where you can't even understand what he's saying. Like he's literally tweaking the fuck out. Man, what you got going on? But that's why like sometimes Yo. You feel good, but at times when it feel good, that's mm -hmm. what you say sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing with Kodak is, is if you know Yo. about Kodak, and if you know about his other collaborations in the past, this is nothing new. Hey, Lou. <laughs> that's what I'm. Ta this is what I was talking about. Like, bruh, look at this nigga face, dog. Look at this nigga face, bro. Feel the man. Tired. That nigga tired as fuck. <laughs> nah, tired. That's what I see. Okay, okay. Uh. They're like tired, like they dead. Mm. And they dead like flies. Flies like flies everywhere. Cause they dead. Mm. So what's like the... <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. You know what's crazy, bro? My homeboy just said it the other day. Like he said, he got real bad sec, like secondhand embarrassment. I think, I think I, I, I never knew how to articulate it, but when he told me this, bro, I think I got that shit too, bro. I, bro, I can't watch awkward. It's hard for me to watch awkward ass moments like this. Like the background of that, then, like other uh, superstars. You know what I mean, Jack. Like, nigga, I would've flinched. Nigga, he started shaking his head. Like, bro, what the hell is going on? Bro, why is this taking so long to load? She just tatted my name, like mom. Like, what's what the, the hell? Uh, you feel me? Hey, what? What's what, Batman? They say your soulmate's initial is on your Good. left thumb. Shit. Listen, specifically for Kai, but for a Yo. lot of these big time streamers, big time celebrity collabs have been a meta in 2024. And I'm glad the gap between a content creator and a traditional celebrity is being closed by the day. I, I love that for us. It's produced some of the most craziest and memorable internet movies. It's really just Kai, to be honest. A lot of these collaborations are great. But there are a couple of misses, and I'm not gonna lie, Kai, this is this is a miss. It's a miss from the standpoint of, yo, you need to know who the fuck you're bringing on stream. And if Facts. this ever reaches the Mafia or Kai himself, first of all, hi. But second of all, this is not me trying to cancel you. This is just some light accountability, which I think is fine. And I do think with Kai specifically, with all the controversies he's had in the past, he's done a much better job of holding himself accountable and not running through shit like this. But hey, you can't make every shot, and this right here was a miss. See, the thing that makes live streaming different from Kodak hopping on a podcast or just doing a yo and this why this nigga almost got banned like bro you got niggas taking drugs on bro you gotta understand this is a bunch of kids bro you can't be up here popping percocets on stream little reaction video is the fact that it is live it is live meaning look at this nigga face this nigga copy like oh like bro did he be put in these awkward positions cause he like Nigga, he don't want to piss off Kodak by telling him to put your drugs away. But he also know that, nigga, he holds, he holds a, a, a certain integrity for his chat and the things that he's putting online. So he's, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. That's what this face was. Can't cut shit out for the most part. It's uncensored. It's unregulated. Like, it's uncontrolled. Yo. All of these different things. To be honest with you, in hindsight, the collab went much better than what it could have been. Because a situation like last night is a situation that could have potentially put Kai and Kodak in danger. AKA, this whole vetting point isn't necessarily just for Kai not getting canceled. It's literally for the safety of everyone involved. And listen, don't get me wrong. I understand the value of having big collaborations on stream. And you can still make the case, ultimately, all of these bad situations ended up being net positive for these creators, right? Like Kai having Krishan Rock and Blueface on and Krishan Rock breaking his wall was a net positive for Yeah, Kai I mean, they said, uh, hey, they said whether it's good or bad publicity. No, no, no. What's the, what's the saying? All publicity is good publicity. So I guess everything tend to work out, but damn.
Or use it this. This one will work. Yeah, cause this one little. And you know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said whoa, whoa. I wouldn't have backed up and said whoa, whoa. I would have pointed to the door. Get the fuck out. Get the hell out. They would have said, Drew, but why, why, why? You, what she say? You rich? I would have said, bitch, you ain't got no manners, and you wasn't raised right. You ain't got no home training. Get the hell out. You ain't got no home training. You got to go. I'm sorry. Blame your parents. You should have been raised better. You don't go to nobody's house slinging no chairs across the wall. I mean, across uh, across the floor and then to put a hole in my motherfucking wall. Hell no. You gots to go. Immediately. You put a hole in my wall. I cut a hole off. I did it immediately. God, you just put a hole in my wall. Same thing when Playboy Cardi went on Aiden Ross's stream. Aiden got scammed, but it was a net positive in terms of Aiden broke the internet with that moment. We got the official Cardi in your chat. They're waiting here for two hours. This is the camera right here, right here. Mm. They're waiting for you for two hours, bro. They just, they love you so much, bro. And they're, you know, they feel mm. amazing you're here now. It, it's your first time doing the streaming shit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, bro, I got some cash for you. Mm. Yeah, a little gift from me to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's a good amount of money in here. You know, it's, it's a lot of amount of money in here. I got you, bro. Love you. Uh, thank you so much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. You leave right now? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me mute real quick. Same thing when 21 Savage came on Aiden Ross's. Yo, that nigga was there for like two minutes and dipped. Damn. An Arbor Freight. I mean, we design and tell I don't think I don't think it was a scam because at the end of the day, he got hella views off of that. So I mean, it, it probably it really won't a scam. Test our own tools and sell them directly to you. No stream. Don't be weird. You show up first. I can't lose. Cool. Say da da. <laughs> huh? Say da da. Come on, put it in. Shoot. Say da da. Da da. <laughs> Fuck! What you had? Scratch. But this one doesn't have a scratch and it's a king. I don't think you would do that, bro. Yeah. Come on. Nah, they're scratch, bro. Bro, that nigga from Atlanta, bro. You should have known not to be put. No, that's that's Aiden. That's on Aiden. I'm not playing no gambling games with nobody from Atlanta, bro. Fuck no. He should. This nigga should have known. <laughs> Bro, that is finesse capital, bro. Atlanta is finesse capital, bro. Fuck no, I'm not. Hell no, nah. yeah. nigga. They've been finessing since they since they come out the womb. Them niggas start finessing when they come out the womb. Twenty one is thirty years old, nigga. That is a professional finesser. Hell no. Nah. These these cards are both scratched. Look, I'll show you. But I'm gonna just keep it stack. This doesn't really apply to Twenty One Savage specifically. But some of these celebrities just shouldn't be on the internet. And I do think Kodak Black is one of those celebrities. Yeah. In our last video on the channel, we covered Fousey too. And Fousey is also another person that probably shouldn't be on the internet yeah. as well because of some things going on with his health, specifically mentally. Hey guys, guess what? It's your friendly neighborhood Fousey. So remember how I was doing a 24 seven live stream for 30 days to record my debut album and what? I hired the best team in America? No, bro, you know, what, what, what is that? What, well, what is this? <laughs> Yo, chat. What do you what do you call that? What the fuck do you call this face? Yo, that just sound like 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 bro. Like that is that shit is just so uppity to me. Like what the fuck is wrong with him? To the bathroom and text me to say get the fuck out. It's their turn to shower in the house I'm paying for. The team that live in front of sixteen thousand people slams the door in my face. The team that tells me to suck their dick and I have to punch them all live. The team that forgets to tell me to take my mental health medication when I ask them, hey guys. I'm hiring you to do A, B, and C, but your main priority, help me help myself. I don't know how to. Don't let me get myself in trouble. Don't, let me, go to rehab. don't let me go in the hospital. But guess what? I got banned in under 48 hours. So I left my fucking sprinter and told them to suck my dick. I'm now by myself on the side of the motherfucking road. They didn't appreciate me when I was live. Don't come to my fucking funeral when I'm dead. Look, I'm going to try my best not to cry. 
I've been under Fuzzy so got much re- stress. Hey, this man got real life problems. <laughs> because I'm, I promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year. <laughs> that my adrenaline shot up, and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours now that I'm out. We can even take it all the way back to Juice World when he had all these signs in his music that he had mental health problems, that he was possibly suicidal, had all these drug problems. But because he made great music, hey, let's just let it rock. This is this is big juice, never the little one. It sucks because this is something that could have possibly been prevented. If you look through any one of my Juice World videos, any one of my Juice World reactions, um, especially uh, I believe it was his first album, I can't remember exactly. I'm not trying to look for it because I'm not trying to do no editing. I'm just trying to just post this for y'all raw but in a lot of his in a lot of the videos that I did on did on him drugs were brought up a lot uh it was pills perks it, it was molly everything it was a lot of drugs that were brought up a lot and I would address it each and every time I was like yo is anybody hearing this like I hope he does you know I hope this is just for the song I hope he cuts this out like stop I, he needs to stop this that I'd say it in every single video because a lot of artists, you know, they come across my video, whether it's their fans uh, sending it to them or y'all sending it to them, uh, they come across it. And I was hoping that he would eventually come across one of them, see it, and then I, you know, I could get to message him and, you know, honestly get him, you know, may man, sell them drugs, bro. You, you, you wanna cut that out? You know, things like that. Uh, but that's why I would always stress it heavy in my video bro the thing about it is bro dr- drugs are really damaging my generation my uh this guy i worked with he literally just told me today how he found out his son was snorting cocaine the whole time he thought like he knew his son would like smoke weed and you know we we, we really not that bad um if it, it can get bad if you do habitually but nine times in ten weed, weed is not the problem he thought he the, his son was just like smoking weed but the way his son was acting, he said he woke up at four in the morning one time and the nigga was like out on his porch with a punching bag, like in his drawers, like like on some Rocky Balboa shit at four in the morning, like in a full blown sweat, punching the bag. And he went back in the house and he told his wife, he said that boy on drugs. And so his son ended up. His son ended up getting arrested, and they, of course they, they did like some type of evaluation. I guess they checked this system and found like cocaine in it. So, hey man, kids, say say no to drugs. Drug is re- it's really damaging my generation, bro. I don't I don't know who it's really these rappers that's inspiring it, but man, we we we, we as a people go, we got to start speaking out against things that are that are harmful to others. And drugs is one of them things that is really tormenting uh, my generation. Videos because that was a serious issue that I kept noticing. It was a reoccurring topic. This wasn't just like in one song or three songs off of an album. This would be like on every single song he was talking about doing drugs. And uh, I just wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be known that, you know, this is a, this is an issue that I feel like, you know, someone should be talking to him about or, you know, trying to help him with. I don't know who the fuck is around Kodak Black, but what I clearly saw last night is a guy that should not be in front of a camera let alone in front of a live stream in front of hundreds of thousands of people live. No, that's that's not that's not who that is. Kodak is a guy who needs help and you can make the case that he needs to help himself first, but with the way he's moving, there is just no way you're in that circle and you're just like, "Ah, he's cool. He's fine." Going back to Fusi, we Bro, can they be yes man and how he's taking That's the problem with having nothing but yes man and not having somebody in your corner that's solid. And not afraid to tell you tell you the truth. When you hanging around a bunch of groupies, but they they gonna just sit back and watch you crash out, bro. Nobody's gonna take charge and step in and say, "Man, no hell no, bro. Cut this cut this shit off, bro." I can honestly say the people that I got in my circle, if I was ever wilding out, they would step in and say, "Bro, bro, Drew, you you tripping, dog. You gotta you gotta hell no. Cut. They they'll cut the cam- at least cut the cameras off, bro. At least nitrous." And I'm just here sitting like, damn, who are the people around you at this current moment that's just enabling all of this? Like, this is this is crazy. But with that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Y'all leave y'all thoughts, y'all comments, man. Hey, man. Pray for Kodak. 
Got a house on the hill, I don't back out. Ain't showing no love, no not in this season. I'm waiting to bring all my racks out. Now who keeping all of my niggas? Been waiting to shoot up the burner. Caught in my feels, I need some more soda. She loving the pill, her body get warmer. Got a little ride on top.